Okay, so this is the pattern put out by the Connect scanner, which is supposed to be an infrared laser. I think it is. Um, it's actually putting out a kind of a checkerboard. You can just about see that there. Uh, so that comes out of the front. And that is used by detecting the relative intensity of all of the return dots. That is what it uses to build up the three-dimensional image, which you can see there. That is color-coded so that anything red is close and anything blue is far away. And there is a kind of voxel map of the same image. If I sweep it around the room, you can see that there's the plasma screen television, which you can see there. And so it's basically a 3D camera, which is great, but unfortunately that still means that there's a lot of processing to be done, and you can actually hear that the uh, laptop is going a bit nuts CPU-wise to actually render this. But there's still an awful lot of work to be done to actually create something useful. You need to apply an uh, image processing library like OpenCV and do thresholding and blob detection. So it's not really applicable for a uh, low-end microcontroller like the Arduino, uh, putting aside the fact that it works on a USB, which would be very difficult to implement. Um, so at the moment, I'm not really sure. There's still a lot of uh, work to be done, um, and it seems quite slow. The actual frame rate tracking isn't quite as good as I thought, so uh, I'm not really sure what you would use this for.